Youth suicide is impacting the local community. I'm your downtown Boise neighborhood reporter, Brendan Jones, here on the East End. And this week, I told you about the impact that youth suicide is having in Boise. And now, this local organization is offering a space to heal. Everyone's hurting. Community's hurting. Kathy Jarvis is the clinical director at the Warm Springs Counseling Center. She's seen firsthand the impact of suicide, and she tells me its impact is a ripple. All those feelings, the, the pain, the sadness, the questions, the anger, it all ripples out and infects, impacts everyone, even if they didn't know the person. The Boise School District has seen multiple suicides in its schools this year. Earlier this week, I reported about the impact of those deaths on the Boise community. Jarvis told me because of the recent events, the Counseling Center, the Speedy Foundation, and the Boise School District came together to mourn. Part of what I wanted to do is, with everyone, have a space for people to come and grieve how they'd like to acknowledge the loss in a way that is comfortable for them. Idaho as a state has historically ranked high for suicide rate. In 2020, it was fifth, and in 2021, it was 12th. Saturday is International Survivors of Suicide Loss Day. The center will be honoring the day in front of their building on Warm Springs. Jarvis says they will have multiple fire pits, a water fountain, candles, and people will be invited to speak about their experiences, hoping to create an inviting event for anyone who wants to stop by. Jarvis says the counseling center can be magical. You said something that kind of piqued my interest. Mm -hmm. You guys do magic here. Uh, what about what you do as magic? You know, I think the magic is, is when people realize that they have within them what they need. She hopes to bring some of that magic on Saturday. If you or someone you know is in crisis, please dial 988. That's the Suicide and Crisis Prevention Hotline. For more local resources, you can visit the Idaho Youth Suicide Prevention Program as well as the Warm Springs Counseling Center. I'm your downtown Boise neighborhood reporter, Brendan Jones, for Idaho News 6.